There's just this lad who comes into the coffee shop every morning and he's lovely looking. But I don't know whether he's in a relationship, so I'm afraid to flirt. Okay, have you got a sore name? I can walk with a forced name, but a sore name will be better. I know his name is James. I don't know his sore name. Will you still be able to find him? I'll find him, but it's just going to take me a bit longer. Can you give me a hair colour? Black. Beard or no beard? No beard. Okay, I'm after finding him on Facebook and Plenty of Fish. I know why you couldn't find him. He spells his name in Irish. Guarantee he's a teacher. Yeah, a teacher or else he's dodging tax. Is he in a relationship? Okay, so I just got off the phone to my source. Do you want the green flag force or the red flags? Green flags. Green flags. He is indeed a secondary school teacher. He's recently separated, has two young kids, idolises his mother, volunteers at dog rescue centres on the weekend. And the red flags? He claps when the plane lands. Oh, don't say he's a clapper. Oh, I could tell by looking at his profile picture he was fond of a good clap. I'd say that's why his first wife left him. I'd say he went on a family holiday, landed at Lanzarote, she saw the clap, got the ick and left with the kids in the middle of the night. Are there any decent men left? Yeah, a little bit of a weirdo, carry some baggage, but if you ever go back and sit the leaving series, you'll get a few free grinds out of him. Do you want his PPS number? 